Okay, before we solve problems, so we have to describe the set notation given by the shaded region in the Venn diagram. Okay, so before we solve word problems involving sets, so let's familiarize first the shaded region or parts into set notation para mas madali na masusolve ng problem. So, first, we have to describe the set notation given by the shaded region. So, for example, we have uh, intersection of set A and set B. Remember, when you see the Venn diagram, yung shaded niya ay nasa gitna. So, when you say intersection, yung shaded ay nasa middle. Okay? Now, if the shaded is only set, this one, set A, so set A lang yan, no? If the shaded is dalawa, yung set A and set B, ito ay union of set A and set B. So, shaded lahat yung sets. Next, so the shaded part is only set A. So, tinatanggal yung lahat ng elements ni set B. So, this is the difference of set A and B. Then, pwede rin the intersection of A and complement B. So, when you say complement B, or B complement yung wala sa set B. Okay. Kapag dalawang sets are shaded, yung set B at set C, at hindi kasali yung set A, so this is the union of set B and set C. So only set B and set C are shaded. Now, if tatlong sets are shaded, set A, set B, and set C, so there are the union of set A, set B, and set C. So lahat are shaded. Okay, so in solving problems using the Venn diagram, so we have first to familiarize the words or terms used para mas madaling maintindihan kung anong set operation ang gagamitin. Okay, so there are four terms. First, we have union, intersection, complement, and difference. Okay, for union, if merong or, okay, sa word problem, it means union yung set operations na gagamitin natin. If and, yung nakita nyo, or all three, all three, sa word problem, so this is an intersection. Okay? Now, if neither or nor, yung two sets, neither or nor, or neither, which means complement yung set operation na gagamitin natin. Okay? So, which means, wala sa kanya, no? Wala sa set. Or, also, we can see, but not. Okay? So, when you say complement yung wala sa set. Okay? Pwede ring but not gagamitin doon sa difference. So, when you say difference yung we take away. Okay? So, that's difference. Or, only. So, when you say uh, only, which means, for example... Set A only. So, wal walay labo si set B. So, okay, this time let's try. So, set A uh, represents the apple, set B, the banana. Okay, so, for example, apple and banana. So, again, apple is set A, banana is set B. Now, you can see the word and. Remember, if you see the word and, that is intersection. So, ang ibig sabihin yung and is intersection. So, then apple set A and banana set B. Now, if we write this in a set notation, it would look like this. So, nakikita niyo yung small letter N, that means, that's the number of elements. Since a uh, word problem or problem solving, ang hinahanap natin, yung bilang ng elements or the cardinality kaya we include this uh, small letter n that represent the cardinality of the set okay so let's have another example number two we have apple or banana so when you see or that represent u or the union of a and b so, when we write this in a set notation, 
it would look like this. Okay? How about apple only? So, only, that is the difference, right? So, apple, set A, minus B. So, again, kapag only, that's difference. So, for the set notation, it would look like this. Okay, this time, apple. So, this is set A. So, cardinality of set A lang. Okay, so what if there are three sets are given? So, ito po. So, for example, set A, set B, and set O. Okay. So, for example, apple and banana, but not orange. So, remember, and that is intersection, but not. So, but not, that is difference. Okay. So, for our set equation, that would be the cardinality of the intersection of A and B, but not O. Or, possible rin yung cardinality of the intersection of A and B and the intersection of O complement. Okay, again, kapag complement, wala sa set O. Neither of the three, which means that is complement. Remember? So, wala sa tatlo. So, that is the complement of the union of A, B, and O. Okay, so wala sa tatlo. Is next. Okay, how about this one? All three. So, it means lahat ng sets. So, this is intersection. So, intersection of A, B, and O. Okay, so banana or orange but not apple. So, but not, that, that's the difference. Or, that's union. So, for set notation, union of B and O and the difference of A. Or, Union of B and O and intersection of A complement. Okay, so this time, let's try to use the figure below to answer the problem. So, there are three sets uh, given, set A, set B, and set C. Okay, so let's start with the elements of set A. Again, you look at the elements of set A. So, we have 1, 2, 3, and 8. Okay, so dapat nasa set A lang. Okay, so for elements... Of set B, again, you check all the elements na nasa loob ni set B. Okay? So, we have 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, lahat ay nakikita sa loob ng set B. Okay? For elements of set C, again, check set C. So, we have the elements of 2, 3, 4, 7, 10, and 11. So, again, nasa loob ng set C. How about this one? Union of A and B. So, tingnan mo yung sets A and B. So, lahat ng elements na, na, na naasa A o nasa B. So, we have to combine. Again, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, again, we should not repeat the same number. Okay, so lahat ng A ng B elements ay combined. Okay, for the union of A and C, so check the elements of set A and C. So we have to combine all the elements. Okay, so we, ha we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 10, and 11. So if titingnan mo yung, yung elements sa uh, Venn diagram, so we combine them. How about for the intersection of B and C? So, you look at the set B and C. Anong yung mga uh, elements na nag-intersect sila? So, 3, 7, and 10. So, that is their common elements. How about for intersection of A and B? So, again, check. Nasa gitna ni A at B, yung 3 and 8. Okay? So, that is their intersection. How about intersection of A and B and intersection of C. So, it means tatlo sets na uh, common yung elements nila. So, nasa gitna, sa pinakagitna. That is number 3. So, that's the only one element. Okay? Now, let's go to solving problems. So, for example, we have 40 people are asked about the social media accounts that they have. Okay? So, what are our social media accounts? We have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. So, let F are those people who have Facebook accounts. T, Twitter accounts. I, for Instagram accounts. Now, we have this Venn diagram. 
Nasa Venn diagram yung bilang ng mga tao na gumagamit ng Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Remember, our universal set is 40 since 40 people were interviewed. Okay, so, for example, uh, ito yung question. How many people have Facebook accounts? You, you check yung Venn diagram, yung lahat ng nasa Facebook. So, we have... 2, 5, 7, and 8. So, we have to get the cardinality. So, we have 22. So, 22 yung uh, gumagamit ng Facebook accounts. How about Facebook and Twitter accounts? Remember the word and, which means intersection. Okay, so check yung Facebook at Twitter. So, nasa gitna. So, yung 2 and 7. Okay, so... We will add them. So, the answer is 9. Then, we have Facebook or Instagram accounts. Again, or means union. So, titignan natin yung elements ni Facebook at Instagram. Then, since union, so we have to combine. Okay? So, we have to add all of the elements. So, the cardinality of union of Facebook and Instagram is 29. So, we add all of them. Okay? All the elements. How about Twitter and Instagram accounts? Remember, the word and means intersection. So, nasa gitna, nasa pagitan ni, Insta, uh, ni Instagram and Twitter. So, that is 2 and 4. So, therefore, the cardinality is 6. So, Facebook or Twitter account means or union. That is union. So, titignan natin yung Facebook at Twitter. And we have to combine all the elements ni Facebook at Twitter. Okay? So, we will combine them. We will sum up. So, the cardinality of union of F and T is 32. Okay. So, how about Facebook accounts only? Now, remember, there is the word only that symbolizes the difference okay so when you say only facebook lang only okay hindi kasali si instagram at si twitter so i removed instagram and twitter so yung naiwan is facebook lang so yung element nung naiwan is 8 and that is the cardinality okay uh, of facebook uh, minus T, minus I. Okay? So, that's the answer. So, remember, when you say only, we take away. So, that's the difference. So, Twitter and Instagram, but not Facebook accounts. Again, and means intersection. Okay? So, sa intersection is Twitter and Instagram, 2 and 4. But, merong word, but not Facebook account. So, hindi kasali si Facebook. So, kinatanggal ko si Facebook. So, anong naiwan? Four. So, ito yung tamang sagot. Facebook or Twitter but not Instagram accounts. Or means union. Ni Facebook at Twitter. Okay? But merong word but not Instagram. So, hindi kasali si Instagram accounts. So, tatanggalin natin si Instagram. Okay? So, yung naiwan... Only 8, 7, 6. So, we will add the 3. Then, the answer is 21. That's the cardinality. 7, six. Okay, next problem. How many people have all 3? Remember, all 3, that is intersection of the 3 sets. Remember, nasa pinakagitna yung nag-intersect yung tatlong sets. And that is 2. Okay? So, how about this one? Neither one of the three. So, when you say neither, that is complement of the three sets. Which means yung elements na wala sa tatlong sets, pero nandun sa universal set. Remember, our cardinality of the universal set is 40. Kasi yun yung mga taong tinanong natin. Okay, so, first we have to sum up all the elements of the three sets. So, the sum is 35. Ang tanong is neither, which means yung elements na wala sa three sets, 
Pero nandoon sa universal set. Remember, we have 40 the universal set. And then subtract it by 35. Ito yung sum ng 3 sets. So the answer is 5. So 5 yung nasa labas ng 3 sets. Okay.